everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. You guys, I'm so excited about this project. Um, I had so many of you request Winter Owls. Please use Winter Owls during Facebook Friday. So that's what I'm doing this week, and I've got multiple bonus projects, but this is probably my favorite project of all. Um, I was trying to do something Harry Potter inspired. So hopefully this is hopefully enough Harry Potter inspired for all my Harry Potter fans. Um, this is a chocolate bar slider and inside are these Harry Potter Hershey chocolate bars. I found them on Amazon. I'll link them under today's project. Um, after I, on Amazon, it said Harry Potter Hershey bars, but when I got them, it said Halloween candy. So I don't know how long they're going to be around if they truly were just for Halloween, but a regular Hershey bar would suffice as well. Um, the sentiment Christmas magic is in the air. I was looking for something magic related and I found this sentiment right here in Shop the Town. Christmas magic is in the air. There's also a sentiment in the stars at night, I believe is what it's called. Um, in the mini catalog, there's a magic sentiment in that set as well that you could use. Okay, let's get started. Let's make our gorgeous wreath with our beautiful snowy owl on there first. Um, I have done a lot of it ahead of time just for the sake of the video, okay? I have used my deckled edge dies to make two rings, right? Um, and I will, let's see. Well, I have the, I have the, um, there are a lot of deckled edge circles in that die set. So I thought you'd probably wanna know the measurements. For this one, I am using the deckled edge circle that is three and a half. Then I'm using a small one on the inside that is one and three fourths, okay? Now this one is the next size down and it is about three and an eighth, maybe three and a fourth. And then this one is actually the one bigger than this one. So that makes it about two, okay? So you're gonna make two uh, mossy meadow donuts <laughs> or rings, if you will. Let's see, if, oh my gosh, I can't get them picked up. Come on guys, come on. Um, after you've done that, you want to add some texture to them, okay? And we're gonna use this um, leaf or tree die. I don't know if it's a branch or if it's a tree, but I'm going to take Mossy Meadow ink and I'm going to stamp all the way around. We're just going to try to create a, um, you know, uh, evergreen wreath here. And I'm going to add these little kind of branches all the way around. Now on the back, I did something different. Stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp off stamp, stamp off, just to have a little bit of a lighter look. Stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp off, and stamp, stamp off. Okay, then I took a blending brush and I just kind of went around the outside edges just to make it pop a little bit. I'm using Mossy Meadow Designer Series paper to make our little slider. Um, so that it's all gonna be the same color. So if you add this to the edges, it will give it some pop. All right, and then we wanna do the top layer as well. All the way around. Your hands are gonna get a little bit inky probably doing this, but I think it's worth it. Now, funny enough, my original idea was to use the Country Wreaths dies, but I can't find mine. I think I actually gave them away <laughs> accidentally. So if you have those, you could use those too. But I really liked the way the deckled edge dies look. Now I'm gonna give this a few minutes to dry. If you put your dimensionals on right away, this is really, it has a lot of ink on it and it's not gonna stick real well. So let's just set it aside to dry. This also, I cut a vellum um, circle using this die right here, this size, because originally I cut it with this size, but I found it was hard to get the edges matched up. They're, they're not the same. So use the smaller of the two circles and cut a vellum circle. And we'll just attach that to the bottom or to the underside like that. All right, so let's stamp our snowy owl now. We're gonna stamp 
him in smoky slate on basic white. And let's cut them out real quick. We have matching dies. This um, die and stamps that actually have multiple owls. You've got these three with the dies to match, but then you've also got this one, which is just paper piecing, no stamping. I've got a project with that um, on my blog and YouTube. So if you're looking for ideas, make sure you check it out. All right, we're gonna run this guy through, get the coordinating die. Right there. Okay. Now you're also going to want to cut out, and I have done this at a time, four of the smaller branches from Early Espresso right here, okay? And a real red stylus shaped banner, the shorter one. And we're going to stamp that magic sentiment on here. Let's add a little bit of our um, embossing buddy. I am having trouble picking things up today. All right, that removes any static that might be on there that would hold on to the gold embossing powder where we don't want it. All right, this is pretty easy to line up because it's photopolymer. Now I'm gonna take my gold embossing powder and my reverse tweezers and sprinkle that on. Let's look at it, very good that up, grab our embossing, our heat tool, and give it about 10 to 20 seconds, and it will turn nice and shiny. Woo, see that? It's like a magic trick. All right, let's put it together. We've got our twigs. We're gonna need some dimensionals. And let's put dimensionals on the back. Let's do four, make it even. Okay, like that. I'm gonna take these and for the sake of the video, I need them to dry quickly. I'm gonna use some glue dots. All right, and we're gonna put those right here. And we want them to stagger a bit, like, let's make this one go in. Uh-oh, I thought I could get away with just one glue dot, but I think I need two. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, now let's take the banner and I'm actually gonna use two dimensionals to stack it up so it's higher than the wreath. Remember we've got one dimensional here and I want it to be higher so I'm using two. And we'll put it right there and then we'll get our owl and her head is gonna go right there in that spot. Now I went into my embellishment drawer and pulled these out and didn't realize that they're retired until after I was done with all my samples. But this, if you are putting your order in for Facebook Friday, I will send you, uh oh, why aren't we sticking? I will send you some of these because I actually have a lot of them. Um, I have given these away many times, these beautiful gold leaves. Um, a lot of times when I do embellishment goodie bags, I include these because these are so great. They were on the clearance rack for a while, but now they're gone. Okay, so there we go. If you don't have these, you have got, I'm sure, a die cut leaf and some gold foil that would work just fine there. Okay, so he's ready. Now we have to make our candy bar slider. I have a five and a half inch by six and a half inch piece of designer series paper. Um, this is from the St. Nicholas, Traditions of St. Nicholas paper. And here are the bars that came in um, the Harry Potter um, package. I know that there are some that do have the owl on it, but I didn't get any in my package, so that's okay. 
Okay, now you're gonna need tear and tape. And we're gonna put tear and tape across one uh, of the skinny, of the shorter sides and one of the longer sides. And then take your backing off of both. Okay, and I'm gonna lay my candy bar right there and I'm gonna take, this is the side with no adhesive. I'm gonna fold that over and then fold this over, not too, too tight, but tight enough. Kind of somewhere in the middle of too tight and, and not tight enough, just right. Okay, push that together. Then make sure your candy bar is not stuck down there before you pinch those. All right, so there is ours. And if yours is a little bit uneven like mine, just trim it off, okay? Um, now, you're gonna need a circle punch, half inch, three quarter inch, whatever you've got. Take it and punch in here. Oh, also I noticed too, if you don't have a circle punch, there is a little circle die right here in this set that you could even use. It's a little bit big, but it'll work just fine. All right, now we've got some real red and gold ribbon. This is one of our online exclusive ribbons. And I'm going to actually run it through like this, both holes, pull it through, turn it so that it's gonna be right side up and take your candy bar and Get it in there and slide that down. Now, you're gonna tie your bow. Let's see, I feel like I have a little too much ribbon. And when you make your loops, make the, the ribbon have the dots on the top. And as you pull it through, you can twist it like that so that the dots are on the top. What? Okay, come on. There we go. <laughs> it was being stubborn. All right, straighten those up. Trim, trim. And then we're just going to add our wreath right there to the front with dimensionals. Now, if you're not a candy bar or 3D project person, don't leave. I've got a card option for you. All right, and there you have it, okay? And that candy bar just pulls out with the ribbon like that. So I did two of them with the Mossy Meadow DSP, and then I did this one. There's another kind of twall DSP in there that I thought was really pretty as well. Now, like I said, if you are not a 3D chocolate gift-giving person, how about a card? I did everything the same, except I did a Mossy Meadow card base, cut my designer series paper four and a fourth by five. By the way, when you cut this paper, it's 12 by 12, you will get three six and a half by five and a half inch pieces. And then you'll have a piece left over that is perfect to cut down for your card base, for your card front if you wanted to make your card. All right, there you have it. I hope all of my uh, Harry Potter fans are excited by this project. I tried to use, it's red and gold, kind of like the scarf that they wore, um, magic and an owl, right? Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, make sure you guys click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. I have a free PDF and a lot of other snowy owl projects for you. Have fun stamping everybody. Bye-bye.